So we are up above the last two drifts or edits that we explored and we're on an old road or trail, uh, one or the other. So let's follow this up and see what we find. So we're still climbing. There were some tripod style tram towers up here. Here's one with the concrete footing. And if you continue over this way, there's a big waste pile in the attic we're trying to get to. Here I am at the main tram line coming from the upper attic. It's right in front of me. Oh, I see him. There he is. I was looking too far up. I was looking way past where he is. I was like, I was like way up there. Yeah, almost at the top. Yeah, I see him. Here come Julian Frank back there. Making the long trip up here. Look at the open space out there. Just beautiful. Well, it's a pretty good sized waste truck pile. Here's an old four cylinder engine. There's all the strapping for the uh, ore car tracks they had. Must have used two by fours and bolted or screwed the strapping onto it, nailed it on. Here's the top of the waste pile. Here's the portal. And it looks to be open and in pretty good shape. I'm guessing this is where the engine was mounted, that little four cylinder engine we saw was mounted for the tram drive. Here's what's left of the tower. The bull wheel's laying down there, you can see it. Look at the size of that big bushing. Come Frank and Julie. Looks like a big cable guide. It looks like the whole rail and stuff for the gantry was ended up down here somehow. Here's another big bushing for this main shaft that the bull wheel was on. I might as well go down there since I'm so close. So there's the other other half of the big bushing that would have held the the bull wheel, which is right here. So here's the bull wheel and the ring gear, the drive gear. It's got a big piece out of it, broken out. I'm guessing it's about a, let's see, five foot or six foot bull wheel. And maybe a three inch shaft. And then you can see how big these gears are there about, it's about a four or five inch wide gear. So I'm looking around under the old tram line for float that came out of the mine and fell off the tram buckets. Maybe find a little gold. You know, you don't find nuggets or anything, but you can maybe find a piece of it. Some of these look pretty interesting. There it is, right there. Look at that. Look at the gold. That's a pretty nice chunk. I see all kinds of gold in there. Cool. That's what the miners were looking for. Okay, here we are at the upper attic for the Humbug Mine. Let's go in and see what we have in here. There's a couple of shelves here. Looks like there was a door here at one time. 
and nice timbering. Here's a shelf. This almost looks like a gas line. Doesn't it? There's another shelf. Here's some interesting um, lagging on the rib here on the right side. Looks like quite an operation. There was a lot of room for the miners to put their stuff, their lunch buckets and their helmets when they come in to the mine, get set up and change clothes, get ready to go to work. Old 96. So right away you come to a junction. They had a stencil in here. They did a pretty good job of marking these things. 317. So that's looking down the winds, I guess it would be. And we're going to go this way. We'll go down the winds later if we have time. It looks cool down there. It does. There's a board going across and a flank. Very cool mine. It's not all painted up either, is it? It's yeah. just. It says 500 stove. Okay. Oh, yeah, 500 stove. Oh, that's a tall one. Nice to see the track still in here. We're a lot of shoots, huh? So, so it must not be so much a level as a stope if there's all these shoots. Otherwise, you wouldn't need so many shoots if it was a um, a level. An old can. <laughs> so so this is this ladder going down here there's a plat platform up here let's see if i can get over here without killing myself oh my gosh this goes down to a plank there's pipe there are pipes and a plank down about 30 feet and then i can see below that too there's another plank about 20 feet below that and then I can't see after that but it looks like the ladder stops at this next plank which would be a lower level of this mine interesting that's probably where that that decline comes out of. yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah that's that's could be cool. there's some stress on that timber isn't there here's another chute There's a sardine can. Here's a ladder going up. Oh, feel the wind coming through here. Wow. That's really breezing through there. So that opens up into something. Pretty cool mine, huh? Yeah, look at all the stuff that's tumbled down there. It's... Yeah. Feel the breeze. Cool mine though. Look at the Floyd. Here's a picture. 
They got that walled off pretty good, don't they? Yeah, they do. Don't you wonder what's behind it? Look at all the old graffiti. So what an interesting mine. Must be a lot of small stopes since there are so many chutes versus a working level above us. We have big wind coming through here too. Well, Frank, let's take it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Hate to fall down there. Oof. What a cool mine. Way fun. We're going to have to climb some of these ladders. Here's a big double chute. Pretty nifty. There sure is a lot of air moving through here. And a boatload of ladders. There's another ladder. That goes up about 50 feet. What I can see. Still a lot of air moving through here. Now on the right side. Yeah. It's different. Here's a junction. Looks like it ends right there. There's some interesting timbering with a lot of wedges in there. Well, we found the end of it. Now we have about 18 ladders to climb and one winds to go down or a decline. Back to this ore pass, or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't go down real far. 817, is that how far we are in? The last one was 848, so it's 30 feet. We came about 30 feet? Probably. But yeah, that's how many feet we are from the entrance. This is 800 stope here. I think. I should go up that one. I don't hear any creaking. This next one isn't that solid, it's kind of loose. <laughs> you gotta pull back on them. You, know, you gotta pull back to get up these.
Nope, the ladders are broken. That's it. This is looking down the winds. So we're back to here. This is the bridge. There it goes down. Looks like there was another windlass down lower there. 